Y'all, put your earphones on. Get into a quiet place. You're not going to want people to hear what I'm about to say because I'm about to keep it all the way MF and real. So I'm giving you guys about five seconds to hurry up. No, 10. Hurry up and get into a quiet place where ain't nobody going to hear this because, honey, it's going to sound crazy, but I'm about to spit nothing but the truth. It's going to be cussing and letting you know this may not be age appropriate for children under the age of uh, whatever the age is. Um, so hurry up. Mama, you need to go too because you, this is too much for you. Now, I am in my place of business because I had to get into my comfort place, my safety net. Yes, my office. This is my place of one of my offices. Um, my place where I feel the most safe, where I can get my most work done, where I can be the most productive. Now, faggots. I am a proud fag. I'm a light-skinned nigger fag. Light-skinned nigger means I have some redneck in me. I got some hillbilly in me. I got some beaner in me. I like, uh, I'm a pineapple -er. I'm a beaner, I'm a pineapple -er. I'm a watermeloner. I'm definitely a sweet potato -er. I'm all that. You guys, if you follow my Instagram, I dress as a woman and date as a woman. The reason why I dated as a woman, I will tell you that in a whole nother video. But let me tell you, I ain't trying to trick no dudes and trying to get them and be like, ooh, baby, this is a P, you about to find a, a, a P-U-S-S. -S no, 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 it's not gonna be no pussy in here. It's gonna be a damn dick, okay? So you guys, faggots, fabulous angelic gods, honey, fags. Fabulous angelic gods, you guys need to stop selling yourself short. And what I mean by selling yourself short is stop chasing somebody who wants nothing to do with you. A straight man has wants nothing to do with a faggot, okay? He is a heterosexual. That means he does not want something that down there resembles what he has. Okay, he's attracted to something else, a vagina, a pussy, bacon strips, whatever you want to call it. He is not into you. And if you say, I tricked, I turned out a straight man, you are lying to yourself and he is lying to you. He was never straight. He is gay. Do you hear me? Any man that puts a penis in his mouth or lets another person with a penis put, put their penis in their mouth is gay. You are a dummy. You are an absolute dummy. If you think anyone that has let you of the same sex is straight and has allowed you to give them fellatio or receive or or you have received fellatio from that person. And what really it what really irritates me is like, do you love yourself? Do you not feel you deserve love? Do you know, the, let me tell you the reason why as a gay guy, I never went after the straight boys. Even in high school where I was scared to come out and I was jealous of all my girlfriends having boyfriends on the football team and on Valentine's Day, they getting the flowers and the balloons. You know, they getting things. I'm like, oh, I wish I had a man that was doing that for me. Like, I wish on Valentine's Day I got the little the, uh, Valentine's grams or whatever it is. Or I wish on my birthday he bought me a big old teddy bear and said, I love you, boo. And that type, that type of shit. Maybe in 2019, these, these other kids in high school was able to get it. But at my age in high school, I wasn't able to get that. I always wanted that. But guess what? I wasn't going to say, oh, I need to start uh, tricking the dudes. Or I need to start going after the straight dudes so I can have that. No, because guess what? Those straight dudes will mess with you. They will play around with you. They will get what they... I don't, they're not straight. Those down low dudes will mess around with you, will play with you to get what they want, to bust it, honey. And guess what they go do? They're going to go back to their girlfriend. They're going to go back to their wife. And you're going to be not, not, not a thought. All you will leave is with a wet mouth and a wet butt. Or vice versa. That's all you can... That's all you can receive from them. If... There was a love triangle. Let's say, let's say some text messages got leaked and a friend posted the text message between you and this download dude. Do you think that download dude is going to come to your defense? Yes! I love him. He's the one I want to be with. He's the one. Like, it's, it's true. I, I, I'm coming out and I'm letting you guys know. He'd be like, no. 
fuck that faggot. I'll beat his motherfucking ass. He lied about that shit. He tricked me. He did this. He did that. They're never going to have your back. If you're going to get, if you walking down the street with a straight dude or some download stuff and you guys trying to play it off as friends and somebody come bully you, do you think that man is going to jump up and fight for you in the name of love? He's trying to protect his masculinity. He's trying, to, he's trying to protect his male ego. His male ego will always come before you. You will never be nothing to him but something to use. Do you not love yourself? Are you something to use? Women too. Stop chasing men that are married. They not leaving their wife for you. They not about to give they, they 401k, split their retirement, split the house, split the income for yo, whatever you got. You think your mouth is so good too. Stop chasing somebody that does not want you. James Charles, any man that said, oh, baby, this, oh, baby, that, you're a fucking idiot. You shouldn't be flying nobody out. Because guess what? I can tell you, dating as a woman, as when I do my whole drag, if you guys go on my Instagram, you will see that. Dating as a woman, men have gotten two jobs when they were broke to take me to nice places because they knew what I deserved. The way I carried myself, I carried myself like someone that deserved to go to a four to five star restaurant on the first date. They knew don't come at me with no BJs, no chilies, no nothing like that because I carry myself like that. And guess what? And in my social media and on my dating profiles, I show myself as an independent person doing the most luxurious stuff. Because guess what? If you don't give it to me, I'm going to give it to myself. I have an office. I work. I have corporations registered with the Secretary of State. I don't need no man to do nothing for me. Baby, I buy my own diamond Birkins. I don't, I don't need no man for nothing. I get my own. Oh, no. A man did give me this. But I, can, I got these. I bought myself these diamonds. I did buy myself these diamonds. Now, faggots, these men will betray you in the first second they can. As in, if anything ever comes out, and they friends try to jump you, they're going to be with it. I have friends that have tried to not, they didn't trick the straight, they didn't trick the boys. The boys knew what it was. They almost died on the operating table because the doctor had to pull out all their organs to make sure there was no internal bleeding after he got stabbed 57 times in his stomach. I'm pissed as fuck, you guys. I'm so fucking pissed. Love yourself. Love yourself. These people who are not proud to be with you will never love you. Why would you want to be with someone who is not proud to be with you? Do you know how much harder it is to come out as a gay person? The down low dudes are punk, are pussy ass, punk ass bitches. Cause guess what? Those down low dudes would rather have to fight on 50 guys with knives bare hand than have to stand on the stage and say, y'all, I'm gay. I'm masculine. I, you know, I'm the star football player and I like sucking dicks. Ask any down low man that you're dealing with. Those that you guys that deal with down low dudes. Would you rather come out as gay and say, baby, you love me and you've been with me, you've been seeing me on the side doing your thing, or would you rather go fight 50 dudes with knives and, 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 and pray you get the best of them? They would rather protect their ego than be with you. Why are you preying on someone? Why have you isolated a, a, as, why have you isolated a species that is unattainable to prey on? And, and James Charles using his celebrity and his privilege to entice these dudes. You are a predator. This video is coming because I watch a Style Hearts video. Girl, I love you. But you don't get it because you're not in the LGBT uh, lifestyle. You are a predator when you are using something as a catalyst to attract your prey and then execute a mission. Whether it's, whether it's successful or not, you are still a predator. The severity 
of the detriment may not be that serious, but James Charles, you are teaching young little gay boys, gay girls to go after, I love straight boys. I love straight boys. The straight boys don't love you. Why are you letting these little faggots know that put yourself in danger. Love someone who will never respect you. Go hard and fight for someone who will never have your back, who will never come out for you. You will never be a point of contention in their life. They're not proud to show you out. Why wouldn't you want a faggot that just already came out that's proud to say, look, I love a, I love dick. I love thin boys. I love mask boys. I love whoever it is. And I don't give a fuck what you say. I'm going to always have my, my gay person, my gay man's back. And I'm going to be there for them. Why wouldn't you want someone who's going to have unconditional love and is not ashamed to show that to you? Why wouldn't you go out with someone who has put in the work to be themselves, who has went against the grain, who has put their masculinity, their ego, their reputation, their sexuality, everything. They have put everything on the, on, on the line to be themselves, to love who they want to love. They have risked their life to love who they want to love and give their partner, their future partner, the security of knowing that I love you unconditionally and I will be there for you. Why would you want someone who wouldn't offer you that? James Charles, you are young, so you live in your life out in the public, so people are seeing that people are seeing you grow. You are young, you're gonna make these mistakes. I've never made those mistakes because I watched a a, a true story where a gay boy was having a relationship in high school with a football player. They were kissing in the locker room. The friends walked in after practice and found, saw them like kissing and the boy literally threw his boyfriend on the ground and beat him almost unconscious to protect the ego of his friends. His friends then jumped in to beat this little feminine faggot up, to beat him up because he was... he. His masculinity and his reputation was way more important than the person he loved and who he has been intimate with and has become one, intermingled with their bodies physically. You guys, don't go after no one who don't want you. I can't, I hope me screaming this over and over and over and over again. You are valuable. You are on this earth for a reason. Why do you think you're on this earth? Why do you feel you went through the struggle of coming out and being yourself? Why do you feel someone deserves to belittle that? Why does someone get to come and get the easy why does someone come and get the easy way? Now let me tell you. Those little bitches, those little faggot ass download faggots that was over there trying to get flown out or whatever they're trying to live the lifestyle, guess what? They were using you. You should feel used. Hopefully you learn from this experience that I will never be used again. I will be with somebody that even if they not rich, that values me, that will work hard to be able to attain me. Okay? I'm thinking from experience, boo. I'm thinking from experience. I got to be able to date on the low. I got to be able to date as a girl and, you know, nobody knew who I was so I wasn't famous and nobody knew so nobody could say, oh, that's a dude. Oh, that's a man. Because, baby, when I, when, I do the, when I do the drag, baby... When I put on this drag, when I put on this fish, baby, I'm fish, okay? Check my Instagram, bitch, okay? Don't ever get it twisted. <sighs> Stop risking your life for people who do not matter and will not be there for you. One time I was in a situation where I got, I was in San Francisco, on a birthday trip that my ex took me on a birthday trip and I was walking past these group of bikers, a whole bunch of like 50 bikers. We walking down the streets like 50 bikers. And they said, nigga, you a nigga. Now somebody was behind me and I was like, fuck. fuck. And I went, my dude, do you know my dude, instead of grab, as we walk and holding hands, do you know he let go of my hand and, and looked back to see if they was talking about us? And do you know he had utter fear? Not fear of like, oh, these dudes are intimidating, but fear of, oh my gosh, I might be, these people may not, may know I'm out with a man. Do you know how afraid I, how afraid I was that the person that I trust, the person I'm on this beautiful trip to create a memory for my birthday has now dis, 
uh, connected with me in this moment and made me feel so fearful that he would not have my back in that situation. That he would not have my back in that situation. Do you know how scary that is to know that it's 50 plus one against one? Luckily, they wasn't talking about us. Luckily, they were talking about someone in their little group. But when I when I saw how he changed and how he switched it up, I registered, okay, nope. I will never be with someone that's gonna make me feel uncomfortable. That's gonna that's gonna take my love, use my love, but it's not good enough to defend me. You don't deserve me. You don't deserve my greatness. You don't deserve what I have. Because guess what? These download dudes, they go be with their wife. They go be with their girlfriend. And guess what? They're going to be miserable. Because they're not going to be able to have your booty or your dick or whatever it is they want from you. And all they could think about is you. Whether they say it or not, you need to know. Once you restrict them, once you cut them off, they they can't get enough. They're going to be at home wishing, wishing that they could be strong as you to live like you. Do you know how many download dudes wish they could be us to be able to live freely without being afraid of of of, of any consequences? Do you know how many of them wish they could be able to be out and be like, this is the person I love, I'm dancing with, I'm having a good old time. Do you know how many of them wish they could do that, but they over there miserable with a woman and they're lying to that beautiful, innocent woman, betraying, putting this lady at risk, putting her health at risk because they probably have an unprotected sex because a lot of DL men like to have unprotected sex because, oh, I can't get you pregnant. That's their favorite thing. Oh, I can't get you pregnant. So they have an unprotected sex. And now they go into this innocent woman who has no idea what her man is doing. And they have now put her life in jeopardy. They have put her health in jeopardy. Why would you want to be with someone that's lying to you saying, I'm straight. This is my first time. Motherfucker, that ain't their first time. Because guess what? If they was watching porn, if they was jacking off or masturbating to the thought of, of, of homosexual sex, they're gay. But you feel like a bad bitch because I got the down low faggot. I got the faggot that's not secure. Ooh. I got the faggot that like dick and like ass, but he will never respect me, baby. Oh, he will never worship me. He will never put me out there on the street, baby. He will never let the people know that I'm the number one. I'm the one he won't. I'm the person he call when he's stressed out. I'm the person he call, you know, when he got something going on or when he feel like he can't tell the world because they'll judge him. They'll say, oh, you're a faggot. Oh, I got that insecure bitch, baby. Yes, I got him. Love yourself. Respect yourself. People that are young and impressionable, do not chase. Women, male, trans, whatever it is, don't chase someone who does not want you. Love yourself and put yourself in a predicament to be with someone that will always love you, always respect you, and always make you feel safe. Love you. Bye.